hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video I'm gonna show you some amazing hacks you can do with the Dollar Tree dowels so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft starting with my first project I will be using one of these packs two dowels come in a pack and I'm going to paint them using the Waverly Antique Wax I'm going to let the dowels dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to work on this Dollar Tree piece of wood, which I'm going to add this word bless using this stencil that I got from Hobby Lobby. I will be using the Waverly Antique Wax in this spot. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to make the letters a little bit thicker using a tiny paintbrush. And honestly, it looks so much better. So now using whatever's left over on the sponge, I'm going to distress all the edges. I forgot to mention that I did um, make the dowels a little bit smaller. I think I cut off like an inch and a half from each dowel. Now that everything's dry, I'm going to glue the dowels one at the top and one at the bottom. Now to finish this off, I will be adding the hanger using this string. And that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be using three of these Dollar Tree wood crates. I'm going to remove the hanger and the staples from the back of these. I said crates, but I think these are like little pallets. But anyways, moving on. Once I am done, I'm going to glue these together side by side. Now to make these more sturdy, I am going to add some popsicle sticks on the back. You're more than welcome to use wood glue. I decided just to use hot glue. For this, I'm going to use one of these dowels, which I am going to make three small little pieces. They are about an inch and a half or two inches long. I'm going to send these out. Then I'm going to glue them to my sign. I, I did glue these like in the middle of each little pallet. For this, I did use wood glue because I wanted this to be sturdy. I also used my stapler gun to staple these on the back just to make them extra sturdy. 
I will be painting this using the Waverly Antique Wax. And look how beautiful this looks. I had this welcome sign that I got during Christmas, or actually after Christmas, so I got it for like 50 cents. I am going to add it here, but you can honestly add whatever sign to this. And that is it. Look how beautiful this welcome sign turned out. For my next project, I'm going to use these smaller little dowels, but these come from these Dollar Tree sponges. I have been saving those, and I felt like I had enough already to make a small little planter. I used this wooden circle, and I'm going to just start gluing all of these around. Honestly, I only had enough for the circle, but if you save a lot more, you can honestly make this a lot wider. But this is all I had. Once everything's glued, I am going to paint it using the Waverly Antique Wax. And that is it. Look how beautiful these turned out. For my next project, I'm using two of these Dollar Tree wood coasters and this pack of dowels to come in this pack. I think they're like 15, almost 16 inches long. So I'm going to start by cutting this in half to make four. Then I am going to glue the dowels on the coaster. I'm using hot glue for this, but you can always use wood glue to make this more sturdy. Now I'm going to add the top part, then I'm going to add one of these little beads at the top, then paint this using the Waverly Antique Wax. I will be adding a Dollar Tree Lenter with greenery in the inside. And that is it. Look how beautiful this lenter turned out. And that is it for today i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye